So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you're gonna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. We can run it in the background as we complete the next methods in the video. So you just wanna minimize this. So for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on advanced options. You wanna turn on this, receive updates for Microsoft products. Now you wanna go back to Windows Update and then click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And now for the next method, you wanna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna expand display adapters. Then you wanna find your graphics card. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for your device installed. And now for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in display settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna scroll down till you find scale. Make sure that your scale is on the recommended option. Then you wanna expand display resolution. Click on this. Make sure you have this also in the recommended option. Make sure that your display orientation is also correct. And then you wanna click on advanced display. Make sure you have your correct monitor selected. Make sure that your refresh rate is also correct. If that's still not working, I'm gonna leave three links down below for Nvidia, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me, I have an Nvidia graphics card, so I got the Nvidia app. And then once you're in your software, you wanna to go to the driver tab, and then you wanna click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date through the software itself. And now for the last method, you just wanna simply restart your computer. And then hopefully one of the methods that you completed earlier would have fixed your problem. 